For this multi-part series of short films, we are documenting the work of a large arable farm in northern Thuringia in eastern Germany. We follow the team at Oldesleben Farming, from sowing to harvesting. The aim of the film series is to demonstrate which tasks are carried out on the field throughout the year, the vehicles used to carry them out and the challenges faced in arable farming today. Oldisleben is situated 50 kilometers north of Erfurt, which is just within the Thuringian Basin, one of the driest regions in Germany. The area is also known for its large field sizes, both on flat land and on heavily intersected terrain. Oldisleben farming farms on 3,700 hectares, over half of which is farmed organically. We head off on our first visit in mid-March 2020. Despite the mild winter, vegetation is only just starting to regrow. As well as fertilizing, rolling the cereal plants while they're still young is one of the first tasks of the new season. The aim of using the Cambridge roller is to stimulate the growing stock, i.e. the growth of the plant. In this instance, the field has been cultivated with wheat. A professional farmer by education, Markus Hertzscher is managing director and owner of Oldisleben Farming. During peak times, he's out and about on the land almost daily. We'll be following his work regularly as part of our filming. His son Clemens is often at work in the fields after school. The 15-year-old can't imagine anything better than spending his free time on his dad's farm. This particular Saturday, he has one of the Case IH Magnums all to himself. His father gives him a few tips before he sets out on this fresh piece of land. The Cambridge Roller has a magnificent working width of 18 metres. The enormously heavy piece of machinery was originally built by the manufacturer Moon. The two Cambridge rollers are used to cultivate a total of 2,500 hectares in spring. The farm's main location is situated only a few hundred metres from the village of Oldisleben, with its 2,200 inhabitants. It made complete sense for Marcus Hertzscher when he bought the farming company in 2016 to closely integrate the farm with village life and to pay taxes and duties here too. Not only because the majority of his workers come from the local area, but even more so because he believes that supporting the community is critical to the success of the farm. This of course means caring for and supporting old traditions, such as planting potatoes for the landlords. Oldisleben Farming supports several other local projects in the same way. For our second visit, we chose the busy time of mid-April. Preparation and sowing for sunflowers was already complete. Maize is planted at a similar time. Here you can see two of the farm's three arable heavyweights out on the field. Clemens is actually assigned to another field with a Challenger tracked tractor today and switched over to this one, especially for filming. Normally, team member Ulf tackles this 60 hectare field on his own with a quad track. At an enormous length of 1,950 meters, this is the longest piece of land on the farm. For a few years, the Quad Track 600 was the largest series-built tractor in the world. It uses a boost function to pump a massive 670 horsepower out of its six-cylinder FPT engine with a 12.9-litre cylinder capacity. Meanwhile, Ulf's teammate Mario is assigned to the field to plant maize. 
he won't be able to catch up to the quad track, but it's important to follow on with the sowing as quickly as possible in order to utilize the residual moisture in the soil. There's enough seed and fertilizer on the eight row machine for two to three hours work. The quad track really knuckles down with a 6.2 meter wide Kirkling vector in tow. The clay loam is loosened up to a depth of 15 centimeters. The previous crop on this field was spelt. To improve soil fertility, build up the humus, and above all to save water, it was decided to sow a cover crop over winter. Marcus Hirtcher, crop manager Frank Tielemann, and driver Ulf all agree. Considering the ever worsening drought, they've managed to create good conditions for the new seed. Back to Mario again. He's worked on the farm for almost 35 years. Sowing maize on a total of 400 hectares here, plus 200 hectares on another farm, is almost exclusively down to him. It's a lot of work, for which he's had to sacrifice many a Sunday over the last few weeks. This gigantic 24 meter wide straw harrow from Einberg is by far the widest machine on the farm. The implement has just been bought for this season and matches the machine tracks. 150 to 200 hectares are to be covered by the straw harrow per day. The aim of harrowing is to lightly loosen the soil and above all to manage weeds on organic fields. Depending on the weather, four passes with a straw harrow are planned. The first one in autumn, just after the plants have germinated, and the other three passes in spring. On the conventionally farmed fields, harrowing is intended to reduce the amount of herbicides used. Before we finish this short film, let's take a look at the slurry spreading equipment. The farm needed the six-year-old Zerion 3800 for this season and bought it and bought it with barely 4,500 hours on the clock. It has a tank volume of 31 cubic meters. The farm spreads around 30,000 cubic meters of slurry on the fields each year, three quarters of which are spread in the spring. These ex-military feeder trucks are spectacular. The 30-year-old towing tractor units are extremely well kept and have only clocked up a mere 35,000 kilometers. Sebastian is driving one of the 400 horsepower mans. He's doing an agricultural apprenticeship with the company and is considering going on to study agricultural science. Aldis Laban Farming is a recognized provider of apprenticeships and currently employs five apprentices. In the next episode of this series, we'll bring you lots more exciting insights into Aldisleben farming, what the team is working on and which machines they're using. You can find all of our in-depth farming documentaries featuring stories from countries such as Germany, Russia and Canada at www.farmworld.tv. Thank you for supporting our independent work.